This week, Adobe released the latest iteration of their AI image generator, Firefly AI, known as Firefly Image 3. It is created to improve the quality and detail of images with advanced options for stylization and photorealistic results. But is it better or at least as good as Midjourney? We'll compare several images in different styles and find an answer to that question. Firefly 3 introduces capabilities like structure reference and style reference, similar to Midjourney. It provides tools to quickly create images that closely align with your original concepts without the need for extensive trial and error. Moreover, this version promises improvements in rendering photographic quality, including better lighting and positioning, and a richer array of styles for illustrations and icons. Firefly Image 3 is currently available in beta and can be accessed through the Firefly web application, with options for both free and paid plans. It is also available in the beta version of Adobe Photoshop. We will create images in different artistic styles using the same prompt for Midjourney V6 and Adobe Firefly 3. Each of them will get points based on their performance and the generator with the highest total score will be the winner. The first style is photorealism. Let's see how realistic the generated images are. Firefly delivers surprisingly convincing and photorealistic results, especially when compared to Dolly 3. Midjourney V6 is known for its exceptional photorealism, but in this case I think Firefly closely matches Midjourney's level, so it's a tie, one point each. If we analyze the prompts, it is clear that both Firefly and Midjourney struggle with portraying multiple characters. However, Midjourney managed to generate characters more accurately, with fewer artifacts and odd details. The point goes to Midjourney. I think both generators nail the overall aesthetic and style of pop art, so it's a tie with one point each. But if you want to create even more impressive AI images, it's time to introduce you to Domo AI. Whether you are a professional or just having fun, Domo AI offers everything you need to create stunning artwork, design elements, and more. It's packed with features that allow you to transform videos into anime styles, generate images from text prompts, animate your photos, and even turn anime style into realistic images. You also own everything you create and are free to use it however you like. If you want to explore the endless possibilities of AI-generated art, check out Domo AI from the link in the description. You can see that Firefly 3 still can't create pixel art just like previous versions of Midjourney. Midjourney V6 does a good job, but there are some drawbacks. 
I think we will be able to see some flawless pixel art in version 7. The point goes to Midjourney. Both create this simple style relatively well, but I think Midjourney is much better when it comes to creating minimalist logos for your brand. One point to Midjourney. The anime style is a complete miss for Firefly 3. Mi Journey has a special model for anime style called Niji, but even with the standard model it delivers great results. Again, this point goes to Mi Journey. Both generators handled the task well, even though they went in different directions with some images. Both deserve a point. Firefly and Mid Journey delivered very photorealistic results, but when it comes to the sepia effect and overall feel of an old photo, Mid Journey was more convincing. The final point goes to Mid Journey. So the winner of this comparison was Mid Journey with a score of 8 to 3. Overall, Firefly Image 3 shows good progress over Firefly 2. While it can't quite match Mid Journey in terms of image generation yet, it can produce really convincing photorealistic images and is best used in Adobe Photoshop to edit and fill certain parts of the image. You can combine Mid Journey with Photoshop's generative fill to edit AI images and remove some unnecessary details. We will see where this technology goes, and as always, we will keep you updated on our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.